If you didn't know by now, uh, Roy Moore is a disgusting human being. Now, of course, he uh, allegedly uh, preyed on women as young as 14 years old, trying to get sexual gratification from them. But even before all of that sexual harassment stuff um, and, and going after young teen girls uh, came out, he was still a deeply troubled, deeply racist person. Uh, apparently, uh, during a rally earlier this year, he had overlooked the horrors of slavery because, hey, man, at least families were united. I'm going to give you his quote. Uh, at a campaign event last year, an audience member had asked more for his opinion on when the last time America was great. So this goes along with the Trump campaign Oh, uh, and, all, and, and their slogan, hey, make America great again. So one of them decides to ask, and this was an African-American asking, by the way, which makes it so much worse. He's like, well, hey, wait a minute. When, in your opinion, was the last time America was great? Now, if you ask a, you know, some, a progressive, they're going to say, America, at this point, was great for, or, or, and it was never really great for everybody. In the 1950s, it was great for white working class people, because we actually had strong unions, we had labor rights, we had high taxes on the rich. Um, and the rich still did pretty well, because they were still rich. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people point to the time after FDR as, hey, this is the time that America was great. But then you ask African Americans who were going through the civil rights era at that time, still dealing with the aftermath of Jim Crow, uh, then they would say that it's not so great. Well, Roy Moore has the opposite reaction to that, uh, especially when it's concerning African Americans. He said, quote, I think it was great at the time when families were united. Even though we had slavery, they cared for one another. Our families were strong. Our country had a direction. Really? So his argument is, hey man, look, the time during slavery, yeah, we had slavery, but at least our families were strong. That's when America was great. It was great when our families were strong. Okay, maybe it was great for the families, although I will definitely disagree on that. Um, maybe it was great for white families, mainly white landowning men, uh, but still not so great for the African Americans who were routinely ripped away from their families and sold to other human beings. See, that was something about slavery. See, uh, for African Americans, they didn't get to stay with their families. They regularly got torn apart and sold off to other people. Some people couldn't even find their kids. Most people couldn't even find their kids because again, they were slaves, they couldn't leave. They weren't allowed, allowed to go and find their family. So to say that, I mean, that was a great time in American history uh, when families were more united. Again, you were massively overlooking the plight of African Americans who were at that point enslaved. Okay. And look, I, I'm going to disagree on some of the other stuff as well. Uh, the country, oh, the country had a direction. Yeah, you know what that direction was? Heading towards civil war. We also had cholera, dysentery, no national uh, highway system, no Medicare, no Medicaid, no pesky science warning us about climate change. There was no women's rights. Yeah, I could see how Roy Moore could fit right in there uh, in the 1850s. It fits right into that era, man. Ironically, again, that's what, what most Republicans want to do. They want to bring us back, not just to the 1950s, back to the 1850s. And that's not all. Beyond his views on slavery and allegations of sexual misconduct, Moore has also referred to Native Americans as reds and yellows and has questioned former President Barack Obama's birth certificate. Let's keep beating that racist dead horse. See, he's not really an American like us. You know what I'm saying? He's not like you and me. <laughs> he's not really an American. I mean, just look at him. A birth certificate. Man. Let's see the birth certificate. I've already seen the birth certificate. It's legit. <sighs> Moore also believes that women and Muslims should not be allowed to serve in Congress. So this guy is about as regressive as you could get, right, on policy. So even if you leave out 
the sexual misconduct allegations, which are serious, right? Especially going after 14-year-old girls and the attempted rape of a 16, 17-year-old girl behind a restaurant. Even if you ignore all that, this guy is still a disaster. He was kicked out of, um, well, not only was he kicked out of a mall, <laughs> um, but that's uh, back to the sexual harassment stuff. He was also kicked out of the Supreme Court, or uh, uh, I'm sorry, not the Supreme Court. He was also kicked out of court for being a, a, a you know, judge. He was kicked out of his judgeship twice in Alabama. So, but of course there are voters in Alabama, a very, very large percentage of them saying, yeah, yeah, all that stuff. But hey, at least he's not a Democrat. This is a man who thinks that America was great during the time of slavery. And see, these are the people that we have to keep fighting, right? People like Roy Moore. You have to understand that their entire point is to just drag us back to the past. It's not just about stopping progress. We have plenty of people who will stop progress or will say, oh, no, no, we can't move too fast. We have to, we have to do small incremental change. That's the only way that we can do it. No, no, no. And these are not those people, okay? No, no. This is about not only stopping progress, any kind of progress, even your incremental progress, right? It's about rolling everything back to where women had no rights, African Americans had no rights, um, where poor people had no rights, and where the world was basically ran exclusively by wealthy white men. No equality, no justice, that's Roy Moore's America.